Welcome to Data Lab. This video will show you how to use basic statistical methods in Data Lab. We'll discuss univariate statistics and simple statistical tests. Let us first have a look at our data set. Two adults and two children gathered chestnuts under the same tree in autumn. The chestnuts were then weighed. The question we want to clarify is whether there is a difference between the weight of the chestnuts collected by the adults and the children. This data set contains the weights of 33 chestnuts collected by the children and 36 chestnuts picked up by the adults. If we look at the data table, we do not see any difference immediately. So as a first step, we calculate various univariate descriptors, for example, the means or the standard deviations. In order to calculate these univariate measures, we click this button with the uppercase sigma. This opens a window which displays the most important univariate descriptors, among them the mean and the standard deviation. If we look at the means, we see that the two samples show different means. The children seem to collect on average bigger chestnuts than the adults. The means differ by roughly 3 grams. When looking at the standard deviations, which are both between 3 and 4 grams, it is actually not clear whether the difference in the means is statistically significant or not. To clarify this, we later try to apply a statistical test. But for now, let's have a look at the box plots. Here we can see that the two distributions are different but nonetheless also overlapping. Another way of visually inspecting this data set is to look at the histograms. So let's create two histogram plots, one for the children and one for the adults. For this purpose, we open a new data window by clicking this button. First, we have to select a histogram as the plot by clicking the key symbol here. In the setup dialog, we select histogram and column for the data range. Next, we open a second histogram and select the data of the adults by clicking the arrow key. We now have two histograms which are on different X scales. To make them comparable, we could simply zoom out a little bit and try to align the two X axes. However, this is a tedious approach which takes several trials until the two axes show the same range. A much better way to achieve this is to copy the scale in one plot to the scale in the other plot. This can be done simply by drag and drop. We take the X scale of the upper histogram and drag it to the lower one, and voila! Both axes are now exactly equal. There is another trick which you might be interested in. If you need to have the corresponding univariate descriptors of the displayed variable, simply double-click the diagram. This shows the univariate descriptors. Clicking the back link shows the histogram again. Unfortunately, the question about the difference of the chestnut collections is still unresolved. Thus, we perform a statistical test in order to compare the means of the two samples. For that purpose, we have several options, the best being to use a t-test if its assumptions are met. The assumptions are a normal distribution of the weights of each sample, and the equality of the variances of the two samples. First, we test for normality using the Shapiro-Wilk test. For this purpose, we have to mark the two samples putting one sample into the red class and the other into the blue class. Thus, we select all values obtained from the children's chestnuts and click this button. The selected values are now indicated in red color. We do the same with the adult data putting these values into the blue group. Now that we have correctly marked the data to be compared, we first perform the Shapiro-Wilk test. We immediately see that there is no reason to assume that the data are not normally distributed at a level of significance of 5%.
both p-values are greater than 0.05. Next, we test for equal variances. For this purpose, we use the f-test. As we already marked our data, we simply click the button called to sample f-test. As we want to check whether the variances are unequal, the null hypothesis is that both variances are equal. This hypothesis has to be rejected if the calculated f value is greater than the critical limit f alpha half. As alpha is 0.05, alpha half is 0.025, and the critical limit 1.98. We see that the calculated f value, 1.266, is below the critical limit of 1.98. This means that we cannot reject the null hypothesis that the variances are equal. Consequently, we can proceed and finally perform the two-sample t-test. Here we find a t-statistic of 3.64. The critical limit for a level of significance of 5% is 1.996, which means that the null hypothesis that the two samples have equal means has to be rejected. Obviously, children are more likely to look for large chestnuts than adults. That's all for now. Stay tuned.